Dudes, it is David and Tevin, and we are back with another video. Now, in this video, guys, I'm gonna be talking to you something that's to do with my favorite team, that is Inter Milan. It has been announced today that Mario Cardi has been stripped of his captaincy, and the new captain will be Samir Handanovic. And also, Icardi is dropped from the squad for tomorrow's bet for tomorrow's Europa League game against Rapid. Now, I'm going to offer you guys my opinion, and then I want to know in the comments down below, what is your opinion on the Mario Cardi situation with him getting stripped of his captaincy and him, you know, like, being dropped from the squad? So my straight opinion is that Mario Cardi finally deserved this. He's deserved this for a while. He has deserved this for a while, guys. And it's not even due to his fault, it's due to his agent's fault, which I honestly don't really care about. Like, I don't care about his agent at all. Like, his agent, I don't really care about his agent. Mario Cardi can leave right now, can leave into right now, because I really don't give a crap about him right now. Like, the way he's treating Inter and the way his agent's treating Inter is sad. Mario Cardi hasn't scored a single goal since December. And he's had Lautaro Martinez has scored before then. Even Perisic and Nangolin have scored before him. Before he scored again. And Perisic and Nangolin were doing terrible at the beginning of the season. But they rediscovered his form. And a lot of people are saying that it's due to the contract situation. Why he's not playing good. I 100% I believe it. Well some people say it's not due to the contract situation. It's just due to his, him. My opinion. It's due to him. He he has a big ego right now. That's what I honestly think of Mario Cardi. I think he has a big ego. And he thinks like he should, just because he's the captain of Inter, he deserves a lot of stuff. You know, like he deserves a lot of praise for being a very good striker, scoring a lot of goals in Serie A. Yeah, he can get a lot of praise for that. But you also got to back it up each season. He wants to get, what's it, what's the, Inter are, are Inter want to, are probably going to offer him a contract with like six, seven million per year. And a couple of bonuses that would get to 10 million per year. But yeah, Inter, in, Icardi and his agent won 9 to 10 million per year with bonuses on that. Are you smoking something? Are you really smoking something? Like, seriously. 10 million per year, 9 to 10 million per year. And you haven't even done anything for Inter besides, okay, top Serie goals. That's okay. But. Yes, I know Inter are just realizing this, but if you want at least 10 million per year, think about the club. Think about the club. Yes, the club has Chinese owners. Yes, the club has Chinese owners that can help them. But they also need to sign players that can help them win. And if they're paying you that much money and you're not backing it up, then what's the point of paying you? You should just go off to somebody like Real Madrid. Like, seriously, this is absolutely stupid. This is like the Antonio Brown situation in the NFL. He's crying for more. He just wants more money because he, he thinks he's the best player in the world. I don't doubt that. He's a very good wide receiver. But you're, you're, you're disrespecting the team that you're on. And then you want to leave. This is, this is basically Mari Cardi right here. Mari Cardi, if you want to leave, leave. I don't care anymore. I'm happy with, with us having Lautaro Martinez because I, I probably will guarantee that Lautaro Martinez will be a better striker than you ever were for Inter. You know why? It's because Inter's going to build around him once you leave. There's nothing you can do about it. If you do say, then you need to apologize to the club. Because offer, asking for 9 to 10 million per year and then add bonuses... When you when the club has other things to worry about, the other the club needs defensive players. The club needs to have backup options, and they need to have world class options if they want to win the Champions League. And they can't be doing that if they're spending nine to ten million per on nine to ten million per year on you. What? Okay, so say say if they pay you nine to ten million per year, you don't score a sing, you you don't score like twenty goals next season. That's just a waste of money. It's to be honest, that that money can go to like somebody like Goldin, who's proven himself to be a world class player, and I've heard we've signed, we've signed him on a pre contract. I'm very happy with that. And Kovacic, I would honestly say Kovacic has proved he's a better player than Mario Cardi. He's won Champions League with Real Madrid, so he does 
if, if Kovacic ever got signed by Inter, he would deserve that money. Icardi doesn't deserve that money. Icardi deserves what Inter are going to pay him, which is six, seven million per year because it's contract right now. It's three million per year. So you want a seven million plus increase for doing what? Just scoring a lot of goals? You didn't even, you weren't even the one that scored the winner that brought Inter into the Champions League. That was Vecino. Right now on, like guys, I'm, a, I'm actually very happy with Inter putting the captain's armband on Handanovic because Handanovic 100% deserves it. Handanovic has saved us this season. Handanovic has definitely been our best player when Icardi has been absolute crap. And Handanovic is just... Handanovic, I would honestly say, is Inter's best player right now over Icardi. Because Handanovic is 34 years old and he's proving that he's a world-class goalkeeper with the amount of clean sheets he has. He has like 11 or 12 clean sheets. And this should prove that Icardi should be scoring goals because he has a lot of options setting him up for the goals, but he just can't score the goals. And there's other people scoring the goals that are getting Inter to win. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please do smash the like button. But let me know you guys. Let me know your guys' opinion on the Icardi situation because right now I'm ready for Icardi to leave. Like he's acting like a baby, asking for more money. Him and his agent are asking for more money, and Icardi is just like, oh, like they haven't Inter haven't talked to me. Like Inter are doing a lot of this, and Inter wants to sell Icardi to Juventus last season. It's just it's just stupid. And think about the Icardi. I know you're never gonna watch this, but Icardi. Think about the damn club before you put before you think about yourself. Because if you want to win Champions League, you gotta think about the team. It can't just be about you. Not one player is bigger than Inter. You need to understand that. But anyway guys, I will see you guys later. Peace.